Hello guys, this is Tuboy Ders and I'm here with another uh, with another video tutorial. Okay, first I have to say that I'm sorry for not posting any videos lately because my previous working station broke down. I had and I had to save up on money uh, to buy a new laptop and new parts for my computer where I render these videos. Okay, so as far as as you know, lately I uh, Recently, I uploaded an announcement video for a custom launcher. This custom launcher is a log is actually a login custom launcher where you pass your credentials, you enter your username and password, and it checks whether uh, this user is available in a MySQL database. And if yes, it starts up the game. If no, it, uh, it gives an error. Okay, as you know, the launcher is on sale for five bucks. And uh, in, in this video, I'm not going to show you uh, uh, much of the code. I'm going to show you just uh, pieces of the code that should be changed by you. Okay, now, after you buy it and you download it, you're downloading, you're downloading a zip file. This is a zip, it's named custom launcher. Inside, there are three files, which uh, two of which I have already extracted, by the way. Okay, the first one is the custom launcher. It's the launcher itself. The second one is a unit package, so you can check how I do it inside Unity. And the last one is the library updater. What the library updater is actually, well, when you enter your username and password in the launcher, it uh, it uh, it passes the credentials to the Viber updater. Actually, it uh, invokes the Viber, and this Viber it checks whether well no uh, the launcher checks whether the user is available or not. The Viber passes the credentials to Unity. So if the launcher say that there is such a user it's uh it commands the library to start the game if there's no such user the library is no needed okay now after you extract the custom launcher you will get this it's a complete visual studio project so let's open it well which one is it i think it's this one okay yeah, I'm using Visual Studio 2010 because it's the only one compatible with uh, Unity 3D. Okay, so this is your launcher. This is your form. As you know, you can change it, you can resize it, you can put more buttons, you can do whatever you want. Well, this, this is locked. Okay, but never mind. Okay, so what you have to change in the code is well after you open it, uh, you sh well if you buy it you should uh, make sure that this launcher checks your own database of users. So when you open the source code, you will get this line, this string URL your PHP file that checks in with your database. So here, this string should be your internet address of the PHP file. So for example, if you have a file named uh, user, user checker, it should ask for credentials. It should ask for username here and password here. So you should, so, what you're doing is an ex is an example like this. Dow 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 your site here your site here dot com and user checker dot php question mark. The question mark is a necessary thing to put there because if you don't put it, the PHP file will not uh, will not find the variables so this is the only thing you should do here after you're done 
just build your custom launcher it should not give you any errors and after it's built you should be able to open it so here if I don't say anything, I will get an error if I pass just a name it will still give me just an error okay now let's see the library updater okay game library updater well as this is a very old ar archive and um, i don't know what may have happened but maybe the site where i i posted it it corrupted some of the files so you may or may not have an error after extraction of the file what i'm trying to say you is this look well the first time you open it you should you should not have a namespace which means that you should actually pass a namespace so um, this namespace should be named game library updater so i'm again uh, saying guys that this is not a mistake of mine this is not a mistake i've done this is uh, due to the uphold uh, to the uphold site because maybe after uploading and maybe after their check it uh, something that occurs i don't know it just happens so uh, this should be named it must be game lip updater as far as i know i'm not quite sure at all However, so if you try to build this one, it will still give you an error. Oh no, there's no errors. Really? Well, this also should be update. Okay, now let's change here. Make this game leap up data save it and now rebuild it okay no errors this is what you get this file should necessarily be in the uh, same folder as a custom launcher this should be here so here in this source code there's also a line that you should change it's a mistake of mine which i'm sorry about guys because when i did it i used my local files and i forget to make it uh, to, i forgot to make it lose global files so what you have to change here is this reference assemblies so uh change this you have to delete this zipper yeah you you should leave it unity engine that dll so after you build this you should also include in the file unity engine it's a necessary step because the game lip updater should somehow contact the unity uh, the unity game and this contact is made by the unity engine library okay now after all this is after all this is done all of this now you should start your unity package which i included in the archive so let me make a new project okay new project Okay, now uh, I will open the unit package. So here you have uh, four files. 
actually three. It's the system Windows Forms, which, uh, as you remember in the announcement video, I showed you that you cannot launch the game without the launcher. And the game, if launched, uh, if starts it without the launcher, gives an error. If you don't uh, attach the system Windows Forms DOL to the game, it will not show. It will not show that error. Also, you have a script and the library that checks for the credentials. Okay, I will import this now. I will open this, and here is the script attach. Just let me update my external script editor okay now let's open the script i've made the script here is an easy script so here you have just to include the game lib credentials library which is this thing and the system windows form in order to show the dialog box so here we use the voids of the voids from the library, the credentials library. We may we have a public static strings in order to use them in other scripts. And in the wake function or in the start, it doesn't matter, it's what you choose. I prefer to, to make I prefer to make the check in the awake function because the check is made before the game started. I don't want the check to be made after the game started. So it checks whether this, uh, whether the uh, the credentials in the library are not no, are no. So no or empty. It doesn't matter. Okay. So if they're empty, if they're empty, it will say that. Uh, you should start the game from the launcher or else you are not able to play But if they are not empty It will set this username and password to the ones in the library and Also, let you start the game and after the start a, There will uh, the password and the name will be shown on the top up on the left top of uh, on the left top of the game so see here please start the game from the watcher or else you will not be able to play well yeah you get this error but as you know we're in the unity editor and the game will continue because there's no way to start the game in the unity editor without stopping the gameplay and as you see here we get no username and no password which means that the username and the passwords in the library are empty okay now after we stop that and if we build current and run you will get an error. Extracting reference DOLs failed. This is because uh, we should change. Uh, I not I cannot exactly explain what is this about. As far as I remember, I remember that I read something on the internet uh, and the people say that the Windows Forms Net framework, net framework is always different than the Unity's framework. So in order to get through this, we should change our player settings. So we go to Edit, Project Settings, Player. We go to Other here in the Inspector and change API compatibility level to Net 2.0. So uh, this will allow us to to build the game and also to run the game with other uh, with libraries from other net frameworks i don't know well i don't know why it is made this way i just can't explain it but i know how to go past 
like how to go through it. Okay, now we're waiting. Still waiting. Okay. And if I try to start it now, it will say the error because our credentials library is empty. It's totally empty. There's no username, there's no password. And after I click the OK button, it just stops. The game just stops. You cannot start it. So, what if what if I include my launcher? Okay, there's uh, there will nothing happen because uh, as you have seen earlier in the video, I didn't set my PHP files. Uh, after my workstation, a workstation broke, I stopped my web hosting uh, service. And I lost all my files, and uh, now I just don't have uh, a way to test it. So you have to test it yourself. All in all, this should work after you put your uh, your internet address of the PHP file, and after you change the line in the game library data, everything should work fine and clear. If I try to start again, get it again, again, it will give me there also. If you like to have the best experience with this, you should you should uh, you should disable the the oh, well wait where is it yeah the display resolution dialog should be disabled so which means it will not ask us for uh, resolution it would not ask us for our input or anything like that as you see now after we start the game it just starts the game and gives them, gives us an error okay uh, this is it for now guys uh, again uh, I would like to uh, I would like to say that I'm sorry for not posting any videos and tutorials also I'm sorry for all the mistakes I've done and all the uh, the speaking mistakes I'm, I'm continue to doing I'm continue doing oh my god however uh, I will try to upload new tutorials also I have some new things to sell for example a dedicated console and also an updated vers version of the launcher which is a little bit better with Auto updater and auto login. Yeah, and uh, if you have any suggestions for a new tutorials, just uh, comment down below the video and feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys, and bye.